Hello, hello, I've got 20 Minecraft building tips. Let's go straight into them. Starting off, I've used this in a previous video, but you can build a chair using a slab and some trap doors. You can also add a cushion on the back using a banner. If a wall in your house is very flat, I recommend adding some glass panes as they sit in the middle of the block rather than just taking up the same amount of space as a full block. You can also extend the side pillars of the base out one to give it just a little bit more depth. You can add the leaves to make a base look overgrown or abandoned. When doing this, I recommend to use two types of leaves as it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Having some lampposts by your house not only looks nice, but also keeps some of the mobs away. For this next one, if you have a lava pit, you can add some campfires to the bottom to make it look like the lava is smoking. This one isn't really a building tip per se, but if you use some simple redstone to make a redstone clock and some pistons, you can make a fun mini game. And if you combine this with some parkour or other things, it can actually be quite interesting. You can make some more interesting window shapes by using a full block of glass, one block behind where you think the window would be. Then you can add some stairs to make it a shape that you want. Buttons have quite a few uses in the building world. For example, you can use them to texture stones that you make. You can also use them to add a little bit extra to a stone wall, or you can use them as pebbles on a path. You can make a pretty good looking table by using some extended pistons in the ground. The advantage of this over other ways to build a table is that you can still put stuff on the pistons. You can make a pretty cool looking plant for interior decorating by using a potted bamboo to hold up some leaves. Also, by the way, this video took me a very long time to make, so if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Instead of using wood as corner post, you can use a com combination of walls and fences that look like they're holding up the roof. Adding an enclosed garden space right next to your house is a great way to integrate your build into the environment. If you're building this in survival mode, you can also use it as a functional garden if you plant some crops in there. When decorating small interiors or rooms, it's nice to use some shelves made of either slabs or trap doors to hold up some decorations. This really helps use the vertical space of the build if you don't have a very large build. You can use glow item frames to make a certain item stand out among all your other item frames. Now this one's a bit obvious, but you can use tinted glass instead of normal windows to control the amount of light you have inside a build. This way you can use candles to make a smaller light level. You can make a pretty cool looking hanging plant by combining a trap door, some chains, and a plant such as bamboo or an azalea. The only problem with this method is that you have to use a trap door to hold up the pot. If you're bad at building custom trees like I am, you can use a Minecrafty style tree in a centerpiece of a build of some kind, and it actually looks fairly nice. Hay bales can be used as a thatched sort of roof. It actually looks very nice, although if you are in survival, it is quite expensive. Having some tents in your Minecraft world actually is quite nice. Simply drape some wool over a fence, and you've got a tent. Going with this tip, you can make a little sleeping bag by using two carpets and some snow, or just another white carpet. And finally, for tip number 20, it's to use all these tips to build a little town. I haven't used all the tips in this video in this little village, but I've used quite a few of them, such as the side post one, the lights, all that kind of stuff. 
As you can see, I've built a tent from tip number 19. I have also used both the hay bale thatched roof as well as the leaf tip to build an overgrown and abandoned looking house on the side of the village. Also, as you can see, if you go on this house, I've used the tip of using shelves and building with the height of the build, not just how big the build actually is, to make these little rooms look very decorated and nice. Anyways, that's about it for this video. See ya!